Well, alrighty then. We're going to format this document. Okay, so I'm going to just start formatting away. It will cover quite a few skills that you already know and maybe some that you don't know. However, the cool thing to do now is to open up your copy of this file and you can follow along or watch the whole video first and then try it out or watch the video, pause, do the, the thing, go back to the video. I don't know. You can decide whatever you want to do. So first things first, I'm going to format this document. At the moment, you can see it's uh, landscape, which is completely wrong. I don't want landscape, I want portrait. So I'm going to go to layout and I'm going to go to orientation, switch that to portrait. I'm also going to change my page size, my paper size to A4. So I'm still in layout um, size. It's a letter at the moment, which I do not want. I want A4. There it is over there. Done perfect and the margins are hectically narrow I want to fix those margins just normal you know like me uh, margins and it says narrow we want to go to normal much better so let's zoom in here make it uh, 100% perfect now I've highlighted some things for you just to bring them to your attention I've got this light blue and the green the light blue we're gonna make nice and big and the green is sort of like a subheading alright so the, the, the blue is gonna be like a main heading so if I select that I've got my little toolbar that pops up here bold and we'll make that uh, 22 points that's pretty good then I'm gonna you know what take off that highlighting when you're done so that we know we've finished with that so just take that away next one I'm going to do the same but this time I'm going to use the format painter so I'm going to click on mountains copy the formatting from mountains apply it to that one but then I'm just gonna make that a little bit smaller 16 is good 16 is good Right, so far so good. Now the Format Painter becomes your best friend because you can see, I don't want to go and redo this and redo that manually. I'm just going to take Mount Everest, click inside of Mount Everest somewhere here, Format Painter, and paint it across there. Format Painter, take it across there. Nice. Let's just fix that line, put on one line. So far so good. Okay, scroll down. Oh, there's another one there. Another blue one. If you remember, the blue one was this one. Format Painter. Go down and how mountains are formed. If there are any more, I should probably check now. Yep, I thought there was another one. And gotcha. Cool. That was pretty good. All right, we'll get back to formatting the uh, paragraphs in a minute. But first, we're going to go down and see what's left over here. Aha! The, the top 10 highest mountains. So now here you can see I have the mountain and the heights above sea level. And what I'd like to do is, underneath there you'll notice that I've just given you an example of how I want you to format that. So we're going to put that into a table. So I want you to go and put that into a table. Okay, I'm not going to show you how I did it. I want you to work that out. So I'm going to pause the video, do it, and then I'll be back. A few moments later. Boom just like that magic mm. now uh, as you can see I've created a table I have the mountain column with the mountain names there and another column over here and we can also do things like you know select that first row go to my paragraph settings you know change the borders if I wanted to I'm gonna put in a background color so table design shading and we can make it I don't know a really lovely light crispy blue something there we go. Now back to the paragraphs. Back to the paragraphs. Let's go up to the top here. And what I want you to do now is we're going to change the font and size of our font. So go ahead and select this first, the, the first couple paragraphs like that. Okay, click and drag. I'm in my home tab. I'm going to change this to Calibri, the body one, Calibri. I'm also going to make the text justified. At the moment, it's all left aligned. Remember, we've got center, right, and justify. So I'm going to make it justified. There we go. And I want you to do the same with the rest. Okay, the rest of your text, I want you to do the same thing. So you're going to select your text. You're going to change it to Calibri. 
and you're going to make sure it's font size 12 and then you're also going to justify now a cool keyboard shortcut for this is control J control J for justify okay and of course if you're really lazy um, well actually if you're really clever like me you'll use your format painter to pretty much do the rest so yeah it actually this is a going to be done a lot quicker than I thought <laughs> here we go let's change we okay, are changing that as well to uh, do not use the format painter for this one because that'll then take your table away which is no good right up we go here fantastic good so now we're going to edit edit our headers and our footers so double click in the top there so you can open up the header and don't forget you can also go to insert and then you've got your header footer page numbers options over here okay don't forget about that so if you click on something you can pop it in there I'm just gonna go and double click at the top there I'm going to center my text and I'm going to write there mountains of the world which you're gonna do as well and you know what let's just make it bold a little bit bigger like that right so it should look like that so if we scroll down and look at the second page mountains of the world awesome and numbers page numbers right go to the bottom of your page double click in the bottom of the page and we're gonna insert a page number we are back on headers and footers page number bottom of page and you know what? I'm also going to put that in the middle just like that all right see this extra row there I'll just delete that there done of course now we are missing one thing and that is images so I am going to quickly add some images of these mountains so we got Mount Everest so I'm going to go to the last paragraph at the end of Mount Everest click the enter button there insert go to online pictures and I'm gonna search for Mount Everest press enter take off creative commons just gives you more options lovely look at that um, hmm oh that's a nice one okay so I'm gonna click on that one and insert see lovely 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 very nice picture so with that picture selected if you've deselected it by accident just go click back on it again you've got your picture format options here we can give our picture a border here is our picture styles group so give that picture a nice border maybe uh, there and back to border weight and there something like that that's not bad I'll do one more and then you can do the rest okay so Mauna Kea that's how you say it uh, a new new paragraph insert online pictures and I forgot how to spell manuak here all right so it's man nope see I already got it wrong Ma mauna kia gotcha you know what and what's in the type mountain just to make sure I found the right thing here we go take off creative commons and it doesn't look that high to me but okay it's probably pretty high I think that's it <laughs> I hope that's it pop that in there lovely wow that is so cool and again let's give it a border choose a color that you like um, hmm, I don't know that's a beautiful brown and sorry go back to border wait for half there we go that's a terrible brown sorry okay you go ahead and do the rest and then please save your document in your OneDrive it's very important well if you have a OneDrive otherwise save it somewhere safe okay online pictures this is the quickest easiest way to do this and we wait get ourselves a cup of tea chat to the neighbors